Have you ever felt manipulated or emotionally drained by someone in your life? If so, the Grey Rock Method could be your much needed lifeline. This self-preservation strategy is designed specifically for those dealing with individuals who have a knack for narcissistic or abusive behaviors. Picture this, you're a grey rock, uninteresting, unreactive, providing no emotional fuel for the narcissist's fire. Intrigued? Well, this method is particularly effective when dealing with attention seekers, manipulators, and those who struggle with empathy. By responding with apathy and disinterest, you can disrupt their control tactics and diffuse their attempts to provoke emotional reactions. So if you're feeling like you're at the mercy of someone else's manipulative tactics, remember, you have the power to become a grey rock. Now that you have a basic understanding, let's explore the grey rock method in more depth. The grey rock method is more than just a concept. It's a set of principles that, when applied correctly, can help protect you from emotional manipulation. Let's dive into these principles. The first principle is limiting emotional responses. This means avoiding the expression of anger, sadness, or frustration. Narcissists thrive on these reactions, using them as fuel. By not providing this fuel, you can disrupt their manipulative tactics. Secondly, keeping conversations brief and factual is imperative. The goal is to stick to neutral topics and to avoid engaging in personal discussions or emotional debates. Remember, a grey rock doesn't have personal baggage or emotional dilemmas. It's just a rock, plain, uninteresting and unreactive. The third principle is avoiding eye contact. This can convey disinterest and reduce the narcissist's ability to gauge your emotional state. It's like being a grey rock in a field. You don't look at the people passing by, you just exist, uninteresting and unremarkable. Next, using neutral body language is key. This involves maintaining a relaxed and non-threatening posture. Avoid fidgeting or showing defensive body language. Think about how a grey rock would behave. It doesn't move, it doesn't react, it just is. Lastly, setting boundaries is crucial. You need to clearly establish and enforce boundaries regarding acceptable behavior and communication limits. This is like setting a boundary around the grey rock. It defines where the rock ends and the rest of the world begins. These principles, limiting emotional responses, keeping conversations brief and factual, avoiding eye contact, using neutral body language, and setting boundaries, form the cornerstone of the grey rock method. However, it's important to remember that this is a survival strategy, not a cure-all solution. It won't change the narcissist's behavior but it can help protect you from further emotional manipulation. These principles form the cornerstone of the Grey Rock Method, but there's more to it than that. Implementing the Grey Rock Method is not always easy, but there are additional tips that can help. Firstly, it's important to prioritize self-care. This means taking time out for yourself, focusing on activities that bring you joy and relaxation. This could be anything from reading a book, going for a walk, practicing yoga, or even just enjoying a cup of tea. By focusing on your own mental and emotional well-being, you're better equipped to maintain the emotional neutrality required for the Grey Rock Method. Secondly, don't be afraid to seek support. This could be from friends, family, or even online communities. Surrounding yourself with understanding and supportive individuals can provide a sense of solidarity and encouragement. It's okay to lean on others and share your experiences, especially when dealing with a situation as challenging as managing interactions with a narcissist. Lastly, don't hesitate to consider professional help. If implementing the Grey Rock Method is causing you significant distress, it might be beneficial to seek guidance from a therapist or counselor. These professionals can provide you with additional coping strategies and can support you through the process of dealing with a narcissistic or abusive individual. Remember, there's no shame in seeking help. In fact, it's a sign of strength and self-awareness. It's also worth noting that the Grey Rock Method is not about winning or changing the narcissist's behavior. It's a survival strategy, a means to protect yourself from further emotional harm and manipulation. The goal is not to outsmart or outmaneuver the narcissist, but to create a safe emotional distance and reduce their impact on your life. In conclusion, while implementing the Grey Rock Method can seem daunting, Remember that you're not alone. There are resources and supports available to you. 
and by prioritizing self-care, seeking support, and considering professional help, you can successfully navigate this challenging process. Remember, the Grey Rock Method is a survival strategy, not a means to change the narcissist's behavior. The goal is to protect yourself from further harm and emotional manipulation while you establish a plan for safety and recovery.